Hello, I'm Brandon Webb with a look inside Bryan ISD. Bryan Collegiate High School held its annual College Colors Day to recognize college acceptances for the Bryan Collegiate Class of 2014. Of the 57 graduates this year, 55 received grants and scholarships totaling over $1.8 million with over 100 university acceptances. This year's graduates earned 2,548 hours worth of college credit. Fifth grade students from Milam Elementary were in attendance at the program to help showcase for them the collegiate path to success in life. During its regular meeting last month, the Bryan ISD Board of Trustees approved Superintendent Tommy Wallace's recommendation to hire Lance Angel as Athletic Director. Angel, a veteran coach and Athletic Director, replaces Harry Francis, who announced his retirement this spring after serving nearly 30 years in Bryan ISD. Angel has served in similar positions for 12 years, most recently as athletic director and head football coach for Palestine ISD. His teams in Palestine won 10 different district titles, with seven of eight sports qualifying for playoffs in the past two years. Angel is a member of the Texas High School Coaches Association, the Texas Track Coaches Association, and the Texas High School Athletic Directors Association. Davila Kickstart students competed at the 2014 JAM All Nationals in Houston at the end of May bringing home 24 first places, 10 second places, 5 third places, as well as every underbelt grand champion. The Davila team also won the Junior Black Belt Grand Champions. Congratulations. Several elementary campuses ended the school year with a talent show. Students sang, danced, played various musical instruments, and they also performed comedy routines. Teachers also got in on the fun with a dance game and a special bobblehead performance. Schools also held award programs to recognize students for perfect attendance good citizenship, and promotions to the next level of education. Brian ISD awarded high school diplomas to 776 students from four high schools. Congratulations and best of luck to the class of 2014. Brian ISD ended the school year with the annual employee awards program at the Civic Auditorium. The Johnson Jammers, a group of elementary musicians, kicked off the program showcasing their musical talent with a medley of songs and a kindergarten student, Kane Alvarado, covering Stevie Ray Vaughan's song, Pride and Joy. Then the standing room only crowd enjoyed a mashup video of Brian ISD employees and students showing how happy they were, performing along to the tune by Pharrell Williams. Check out the video in our online video gallery at brianisd.org. At the recent awards ceremony, employees were recognized for their years of service. Retirees were honored and Employee of the Year awards were given in various categories. Linda Asbury, principal of Neal Elementary, topped the list of retirees with 44 years of service at Bryan ISD. Thank you, Linda. In the awards category, the Auxiliary Employee of the Year Award went to Christopher Goins, head custodian at Bonham Elementary. The Paraprofessional of the Year goes to Karen Morgan, Principal Secretary at Houston Elementary. Justin Estes, Academic Advisor at Bryan High School, was named Professional Specialist of the Year. And the Administrator of the Year is Christina Richardson, Principal of Bryan Collegiate. The Rookie Teacher of the Year Award went to Brittany Kane from Rayburn Middle School, and the Elementary Teacher of the Year is Katherine Salazar from Navarro Elementary. The Secondary Teacher of the Year is Daniel Wayne Campbell from Jane Long Middle School. Congratulations to all of our employees of the year. And finally, a reminder that all Bryan ISD schools and offices will be closed on Fridays during the summer. Offices will be open for public business Monday through Wednesday from 7.30 a.m. to 5.30 p.m and Thursdays from 7.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. Well, to keep up with what's going on in Bryan ISD, check out our website, brianisd.org. You'll find links to all of our campuses, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And don't forget, for information on the go, download the free Bryan ISD mobile app. Children first, always the Bryan way. Thanks for watching.